guys how are you guys doing hope you guys are well happy new year we're about to head into the new year i want to just give you guys a quick word this word is a word that has been in my spirit for about five days now i actually wrote it down and i was supposed to deliver it to you guys but i didn't get a chance to do so i myself went through something to where i was extremely tested and to the point where i was like oh my gosh why is all this happening to me like this is crazy etc 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 and i thought back to the word that god said when he said trust the process embrace the process and he's talking about the spiritual warfare he's talking about the things that you endure the things that may seem repetitive the things that seem like they're not going to end they're not going to stop i'm going to say something and some people may be you know very they may take this offensively but this happens to a lot of God's children. There's been times where we have been through so much deception, so much heartbreak to the point where we start to think, God, do you even love me? Like, why do I consistently keep going in, going through this? Or why am I attracting drama? Like, I'm not around people. I'm not going anywhere. But the, the final time that I actually say, okay, I'm going to do this and do that, it's like, drama just comes to you or it's like obstacles and challenges has come your way and a lot of it is because we're not battling against flesh and blood but we are battling against spiritual principalities right and that is not an easy thing to battle with okay because battling with flesh and blood it could be easy because you can just cut off someone cut them off and you're done but when you're battling against spiritual principalities it's almost like even if you do cut off someone if they are holding on to you by a thought or they're holding on to you just by your word your name or anything associated with you it's like the energy it's like you being sensitive you can feel like something's off you can feel and people are talking about you it's like you can feel everything you feel the uneasiness it's like you can also feel the fakeness of people you could feel the fakeness of people like you know who loves you who doesn't love you it's like you can see the things in the spiritual and it's like you may know certain things and because you know certain things it's like the physical is showing something completely different because some people are just fake but you can see behind the scenes like how they truly feel about you and god may even be revealing how, how they feel about you but because you're sensitive in the spirit and you can see all things in the spirit and you can feel all things going on in the spirit you may be affected in that way you get what i'm saying you may be affected in that way you may be like man this is a whole nother warfare you may be like this is a whole nother warfare that i didn't even sign up for you know what i mean and it's just cr I, I can't explain how much of a resonation like the videos i've been posting has just been playing out I can't express to you guys the importance of just be very careful who you associate yourself with in 2024, who you give access to your spirit, okay? Because some of the things that you may experience may devastate you. And I'm going to say this. Sometimes God will allow you to go through certain things. Even though you may try to prevent it, he may allow you to go through that storm, as in he may lead you through that storm because he's trying to strengthen you and because he's trying to reveal things to you, he's trying to show you things. He's trying to give you revelations. And sometimes when he allows you to go through that storm, you start to question like, God, why did you allow me to go through this storm? Like, I'm, just, I'm tired of going through this. Why do I have to keep going through this? But it's really to train you. I got the confirmation last night that we are all going through training. And I've already got this confirmation in the past, but recently the warfare has just been intense. It's almost like no matter how much good you do for people, it's like it's never enough. It's always like there's still always problems. There's still always an obstacle. There's still always arrows being aimed at you, even by the very people who you love or you try to help or you try to be there for. You have to remember something. God knew that Judas was going to betray him right? God knew that Judas was going to betray him. But even though God knew this, God still had to be around Judas. God still had to bless Judas. God still had to give Judas his heart and love Judas. Imagine how painful it is knowing that the person you're looking at it has bad intentions towards you, ill intentions towards you, and they're going to betray you, but you have to still love them and be around them and give them your heart 
that's difficult. You know, imagine being Joseph and, you know, Joseph being betrayed by his own brothers, his own blood, and then being sold. And then after being sold, being lied on and ending up in jail. Like imagine the thought process he would have had, although he has faith in God and he's hearing from God and he knows that, you know, things are going to turn around for him. He still was human. Imagine the feelings he was going through and the betrayal after betrayal after betrayal that he was going through. Yet in the midst of him being betrayed, he was blessing all the people that were betraying him. He was blessing them. Sometimes, you ever been in a situation where God will tell you to bless someone? He will say, bless this person. And you say, okay. And because he tells you to bless this person, you think that this person's a good person because God said to bless them and you bless them. And then you find out later on that they don't like you or you find out later on they hate you. And you're like, God, why did you tell me this in the beginning? Why did you tell me to bless them if you knew this is how they felt towards me? Because God wanted to show them about themselves. It was more about teaching them a lesson. Yes, you got hurt in the process, but it was more about teaching them a lesson. Sometimes God will use you to show people about their own ways. And something like this happened to me recently because I was just like, God told me, he said, take care of everybody, bless everybody. I'm like, okay. So I went out there and I started buying gifts for everybody. Even people I haven't spoken to in years, I was buying gifts for everybody and bringing gifts to everybody. But instead of people just being thankful and happy that I did that, people started to spread rumors because they started to focus on how I was able to afford to buy gifts for everybody. So because they didn't know how I was blessing them like that, they made assumptions that I did something bad to receive the money to bless them. So hearing that devastated me. And I'm like, God, why did you even tell me to bless them in the first place? And he said to me, trust the process. He said it's to teach them about themselves. And I was like, okay. Sometimes God will put you in the presence of people to bless them. And he will remove you right after. But it's to show it's it's mainly for an introduction. It's mainly to show them, hey, you were around the oil. You had some of that oil, but you self-sabotage receiving more of that oil. Lean not on your own understanding. So even when God does put you in a position to where you have no choice but to face the storm head on face the obstacle head on and you're like, man, God, why'd you tell me to go through this? Why'd you tell me to go through that door? Why'd you tell me to open back that door? It's for a reason. You have to trust the process because you have to remember something. Every single time, every day, every time that passes by, every minute, every hour, everything that goes on in our life is connected to our destiny. It's connected to where we're supposed to be, right? So you ever think about something you went through in your past? You're like, man, if I went back in time and change that, I wouldn't be where I am today, right? So you have to remember that even the obstacles that we face, even the deception that we face, is still a part of the plan. It's still a part of the plan. You see what I'm saying? God will use your enemies as your footstool. There's a reason why God may even allow you to make your presence known to some people. And this is going to really hit some people when, I, when I'm, what I'm about to say. Some people don't know about their ways. Some people don't know about their own ways. Some people are the kind of people, they're prideful, they're egotistical, they play victim. Some people are so caught up in always being right that when they do someone wrong, they believe they're right. You see what I'm saying? Some people are so caught up in their pride that when they think negative things or feel negative things, they don't want to correct it. They don't want to check it. Sometimes God may use you to show people about themselves. And it may hurt you in the process of it. It will. You know what I'm saying? But God will always make sure that through that lesson, you have taught someone about themselves, but you have also taught yourself how to be stronger. Through that lesson, you have gained wisdom. You won't know what a wolf looks like until you're in the midst of, a, a midst of them, until you're surrounded by them. You see what I'm saying? You won't know fire is hot until you got burned or you get burned. You get what I'm saying? So sometimes God will have to say, hey, I'm going to need you to be in the midst of this situation here. 
but you're going to come out with some wounds, but you're going to come out with wisdom. You're going to come out stronger. And you came out with wisdom about these people because I'm showing you who they truly are now. So when you do head to your blessing and I do take you to where you need to be, you know not to go backwards, but to move forward. But I also used you to teach these people a lesson as well. I also used you. So when these people see me blessing you and they see that there's a table being prepared, they will understand that it was their own ways that self-sabotaged them. You get what I'm saying? So sometimes God will allow you to go through the storms to teach people about themselves, to teach people how to take accountability. Because when they see what they put you through, when they see the deception, the heartache that they pulled you through, right? And then they see you coming out of the storm and you coming out a stronger person, you coming out with wisdom, you coming out better than you even were before you went in the storm. And they realize that they're still in the same place that is a revelation for them to realize, man, there's something that I need to change about me or what I did was wrong or I need to take accountability. That is a reflection. Now they're able to see themselves based on what they put you through. You get what I'm saying? And they can't run from that, right? So I just want to say that whatever you guys are going through, heading into 2024, remember something. God is not going to put you through what you cannot handle. God will not put you through what you cannot handle. His plan is to prosper you, not to harm you. So you have to remember that every plan, even if it hurts, it's a part of the prospering process because it's going to help you become stronger. It's going to train you. It's going to give you wisdom. You're going to come out stronger and better than you were before you even went in. You get what I'm saying? And then you're going to have a testimony through that test. And the people that, that, that try to make your test harder than it's supposed to be, and that may have hurt you through the test, you are also teaching them as well through that test. They're receiving a revelation through watching you succeed as well. You have to understand that. A lot of people don't like to face themselves and see themselves. So when they see God's hand on your life and they see where God is taking you, you are going to be teaching them as well. They're going to realize they have things they have to fix as well. God is going to use you as an example. God is going to use you to teach people a lesson as well. And he's going to do that through your testimony. So in 2024, no matter what you're going through, remember that every trial and tribulation is meant to push you further, is meant to strengthen you, is meant to make you better than when you were before you went in. You have to remember something. God said embrace the process, embrace the journey. The reason why he wants you to embrace it and to trust it is because he is saying he is not going to harm you, but he's going to prosper you. So that test that you're going through, that obstacle that you're going through, it is a part of the journey. It's a part of the process. You have to get through that to get to where you're going to get to. Okay? I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.